One of our neighbours are architectural ironmongery suppliers and they had had some parts returned to them. Um, they had been supplied with a the stainless steel parts had been supplied with a copper finish. Um, but because that's quite an unusual finish and they didn't want these things hanging on the sitting on the shelf for ages, they thought it would be a nice idea if we could take them back to plain stainless steel. Um, these bars were fairly simple things to do. They looked like they'd had a copper coloured lacquer on them. This is the this is the colour we're talking about, this thing here, that kind of colour. Um, but yeah, the the handles we had to take them apart. Take these stems off. And the actual finish came off reasonably easily with a Scotch Bright lap mop on the polishing spindle. Um, so yeah, that's what we used on that. We also used the same thing on thumb turns or whatever it is they call these things. The kind of thing that goes in in um, what they like to call washrooms. So this on the, on one side and these pieces on the other side indicator um, to say that it's occupied. These pieces look like they were copper plated and lacquered um, so a bit tougher to remove the finish than on the handles and a bit fiddly working with this um, and in here we couldn't use the the wheels too wide so we had a nylon bristle brush in a drill which uh, got in there and done that. But yeah, these, these as you can see, they're, they're back to stainless. Not too bad. Um, now these have got cover plate goes over these parts. Just sneaks over there. Um, there's an O-ring around this flange. And that just pushes on. Have the screw holes up. So two of these, two of these things were okay. The other two were absolute toughest thing I've ever come across to try and get the finish off. Really, really hard work. Um, and we've got the same thing going on with these. Round the edge, it's not too. We couldn't do it on the on the scotch bright would not touch it. So we've got an abrasive band set up, zirconium grip 240 and that's got around there and that uh, has cleaned it up. And now we've got the problem of actually taking the face off. Had to make up a tool to do it, to hold them, which is this. That snacks on snicks on there, and it's like a collet. Just made up a turned up a chunk of alley. Piece goes on top, tighten it up with an Allen key, um, and expands the the top of the the holder just to hold the piece in place. But this is such a hard finish; it's shocking. Um, we'll show you what we're up against.
don't know if you can see that, but that's not touched that at all really. It's kind of got a bit of a shine on it, but it's not taking this finish off. Just not having it. So. These things are good for taking paint off, and it worked with the what looked like lacquer over the top of plating, but whatever finish this is, this is not touching it. So, plan B. So this is our it's 240 grit, which is kind of common grade for satin finishes. Um, this has been used, zirconium grit, and we'll probably find that this isn't any good on this thing either, let's see. taken a bit off around the edges where it can sort of cut into the corner but across the, the top really having a struggle a little bit around the hole gone a little bit around that little hole gone this is so tough um, I think we need a new band let's do that got rid of the coating and once you're through the coating the belt will actually cut into the stainless you can see that well, I don't know if you can just down the edge there it's actually cutting into the metal a bit more putting more of a 
a grain on it, a coarse, what looks like a coarser grain. This is actually quite smooth. We've got ripples in this now, which is what you get from using a band. That's going to have to do though. We've got another one of these to do. We'll go over this with something else afterwards, but let's see if the other one will do it. Or whether this is now worn out from doing one piece. Same thing happening, it's just kind of skimming across this bit in the middle. It's hot. I don't know if we can see. It's hard to see that that is glazed over it to any degree, but it's obviously lost its bite. Shocking. Another belt on, make sure it's going around in the right direction. Well, we finally got the old the old copper finish off.